Hello, welcome to another video. Um, as some of you might know, I was supposed to be up in Scotland at the moment, but uh, the weather did me dirty, so I wasn't able to get up there. And it sort of co coincided with the anniversary, the six year anniversary of when me and one of my best friends, Joey D, tra <laughs> traveled north of the wall to Scotland. We've both said prior to that, that that was probably top three trips of our lives and so what i wanted to do is to do a digitally remastered version for 2022 and bring both of them videos into one sort of like highlight reel video which which is what i'm going to show you it's sort of like a boat it's not the weekly episode it's call it a bonus episode and this video is kindly sponsored by hello fresh and which where am i going mate? which for those of you that don't know is a meal prep company that sends you, um, you can go online, you, uh, you order the meals that you want, they get delivered to your door, it's all number coordinated to match the menus. So you get your menu, you've got all your goods in your, in your brown paper bag, all your ingredients, say you're having to go to the shop or buy in, in bulk for one little thing, if you need like a little bit of Moroccan seasoning, you don't have to buy all the Moroccan seasoning, you just get the perfect amount for the recipe. Uh, and it just makes, it just takes the pressure off your tea time cooking, gets you cooking healthy and it really has ignited my love of following a recipe and getting back in the kitchen and just spending some time maybe with an audio book or a podcast on and cooking up some healthy delicious food and um, they've given me a promo code Outdoor Haze I think it is which I shall leave, <laughs> that's the code and there's the gubbins and I shall leave a link downstairs so go check that out Cheers. Right, now let's travel back in time six years and north of the wall. We've become southern fairies because we are north of the wall. Joey D is in the living the life of Riley in his hammock. Yeah, it's a hard life, mate. Joey D's just off to the river. Joe, quick slug. Here we goes. I wish you around. It's around the seven, 7.2. Joe is saying, He's just gonna pick a number at random. Yeah. Aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Nine point. No, don't. <laughs> right, you're out. You're sacked. You're sacked. You're sacked. What do you mean? From well, the beer. Nine point eight. I thought it was excellent. I thought nah. it was amazing. He's lying. For me, I think if people are gonna take the time to brew them, I'm gonna take the time to review them, and that's my new slogan. I'll get that on a t-shirt. He likes it. That was good, wasn't it? Yeah, horrible, still horrible. laughing. Horrible, mate. Yeah, it, I'm going to look back at these videos and think, why am I reviewing beers on the, online? <laughs> why did I start? What's happening? Why did I stop it sooner? Got a successful business. <laughs> I can't. Yeah. Do you know, I, I'm sticking by my guns. For me, and for mainly for you. Mainly for me. I like it. I like doing beer reviews. You didn't take that seriously, and that's where this all stemmed from. Joe, just... 9.8 isn't right. You had one sip. 9.8 is a serious score. Ver it's too... It's ridiculous. It's real serious. So you, take, you should take it serious. Right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I guess this is the end of the, of the ale review section of Hayes Outdoors. He's breaking it into sections now. That's it. What's the next section? Reviews. <laughs> It's hard, ladies and gentlemen, running in one shoe. That's a metaphor I've just made up, but it's it's apt. Joe's my left shoe, and I can't run in just one shoe, so if he's not getting behind the uh, the beer reviews, then I guess they're gonna fade away. It's, it's beautiful in a different way. It's rugged, rugged beauty. We've got to stay positive. It could just clear up, and next thing you know, we've got a fire going. Joe's bust out his banjo. We, we game on.
There you go, that's a, the best 360 since I played Tony Hawk's 3 on PlayStation 2. Like a whiskey advert. Yeah, so as we just see a herd of... They look like... They were big deer, man. We're going to sit here. Yeah, it's drizzling and raining. What are we going to drink? Uh, Guinness. West Indies Porter. <laughs> Cheers, my friend. Selfie. Yes! Cheers, mate. Cheers. Oof. <laughs> like getting teabagged by Mike Tyson. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. He's having it. He might be back on board. He's back on board. Are you? Yeah, we've got him with a jape. Quick one, 8.2, it's raining. 8.2, bearing in mind we've just seen a load of stags and the view's amazing. 8.2, do you agree or do you not care? 9.9. He's, yeah, he's, he's, real good. He's doing oh, it, I'm but he's doing good. it not right. Oh, he's besmirching the name of the beer review. This is the last time that we'll see a beer review, I think. And fair enough, I tried my hardest. Ready? If there are any ale fans out there, <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel I've let you down, but this is the last ale review that we'll ever do. So it's pretty much just relentlessly tanked it down all night long. Look at this. <laughs> you don't get many of these to the pound. Tied it off with an acorn there. <laughs> a stick there, a stick there. Ridge line. Got my own little collection of water, as Joe named it, Mock is. Mango. Looks like some of Tracy Emmy Emin had spit out, but uh it's where it's what I call home. This is how we do. We just need a little break in the weather, uh, and then we're gonna make a break for the coast. Has anyone seen Teen Wolf? <laughs> Jesus! All right, Teen Wolf. Oh, we've been driving and exploring all day and it's been tanking it down and uh, we stumbled across this we've we've come good we've come lucky here Look. it's not a bad spot to camp there's Joey D's set up I've gone this time for the tent because I wanted that view look Have a look for all you kit junkies in there, out there. Just in it, I'm in a bivvy bag and my three season sleeping bag. Wool blanket over me. There you go, jobs are good. And oh, I think we should have a beer to celebrate this monumental historical moment. There's just a faint rainbow over an old castle over there, and you pan round to the snow capped mountains. But I won't bore you with that because here we are for the penultimate ever ale trying session. <laughs> Joey T's head's dropped. Shoulders, he's laughing though. So here we go. The vocation Brewery. Ah. Oh yeah, oh she's a lively one, look. The can gives it something else. Yeah, I've gone that. Wow, it's almost like fruit salad. Like them fruit salad sweets you used to get, like fruity, but then a real hoppiness to the back of it. What do you think, for a 6.3? And the can gives it an extra like liveliness. 6.5. It's 6.5. I think that's very good. As an IPA, I'm giving that 9.4. I I'd agree with that, mate, yeah. 9.4? I think it's an excellent beer, yeah. As an IPA? Mm -hmm. Right. Just like to as say, long as you like heavy hopping. Heavy you hops don't. with citrus and that. You don't, it's not for you. If you don't, it's not for you, but Vocation Brewery, well done. I know you're new to the game, but keep this up. You could become a firm favourite. 9.4. Right then, this is it. The last ever beer review 
It's a sombre moment. Let's have a go. Nothing. Nothing on it. The story of this is they use uh, elderflower bog myrtle. You got bog myrtle? Okay. Yeah. Looking bog myrtle and various other plants that they get from Yorkshire. It says. And then they bring it up to Scotland <laughs> where they brew it. And if you check it out online, I think it's called Summit. What is it called? Ah, it's called Isotope. It's the collaboration between Atom and Doctor's Orders. If you want one, you have to pay between 10 and 15 quid, and it's 10%. Uh, it smells like tar. <laughs> like bitumen. <laughs> have they seen me coming, or is it genuine? My word. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh I smell that. You won't be able to get away with having too many of them. Oh, that is beautiful. You that like? is really beautiful, yeah. Whoa. That smells extraordinary. The colour is like a deep, deep, deep red. You want to let that settle a bit, because it'll have a lot of yeast in that. We're going to let the yeast <laughs> settle in this. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I was going to say. Let's give this a whirl. It smells like leathery, smoky and... Don't drink if you're pregnant, so... That's really good, actually. Because it's not as 10 percent is. I've had a lot of 10 percent beers that you just basically think, yeah, that, that's going to get me pissed. Yeah. That tastes stunning, yeah. Ah, uh, yep, yeah, stunning, complex, and the fact that it's 10 percent and you're drinking it like you would maybe a 4% or whatever. <laughs> it's not 4%. <laughs> it's not... You wouldn't drink that like you drank a 4%. Of. That yeah. is a... It's close to having a, you know, like a gulp from a really very good wine. Yeah, like a Merlot, like a rich, rounded... Mm. That's what the guy said. All thing con things considered, Isotope by Atom. The last ever beer review on Here's Outdoors. Won't. Won't be. Bracket. <laughs> It won't be. Could come back at any time. Could re-feature. Close any bracket. Moment. P.S. Might pop its head up for a <laughs> testimonial. Like the next time. Every now and again. Out. Like later on tonight. But for now, <laughs> for now, this is the last ever ale review on Here's Outdoors. Because uh, they're a nightmare to film. We just want to enjoy our beer. Eat it like it. So we, you know, there's a compromise, and we're not going to do it. <laughs> He don't like it. Right. Out of, out of t 10 out of 10. Wow. That's extraordinary. Woo! That must be the last peer review. He's giving it 10, 10 out, out of 10. 10. 10 out of 10. For what it is, it's 10%. It's fucking amazing. 10 out of 10. I'm only doing it because it's... I'm saying that because it's last one. And I haven't done a 10 yet. Comment down below if you enjoy... <laughs> if you enjoy the peer reviews. <laughs> <laughs> He's shaking his head. Uh, what have I, about it's wrong. What have I become? What have I become? The, the ale thing. Don't comment down below about the ale thing. Just explain over there. Like if we weren't filming, there's like yeah there's some mountains and that. Mountains. With like snow on it. Castle over there. Doing, but we're doing beer reviews, <laughs> so they're good. <laughs> You've talked me into it. Are you gonna give me some? Of that this beer? isn't the end. We'll be back. No, this is the end of the beer reviews. Right, we're going to enjoy this beer and look at the views on this one. But the the beer reviews will be... Oh, no. What are you giving it? You've got, um, we've, got, we've got to give it... A... Oh, well, then... Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's too... It's too... You can still tell it's too strong to give it a high score. It's got to be in... It's in the... Ni it's got nine points somewhat, though, hasn't it? But has it? it got those points? Now I've had a second bit. Has it got those points because... I spent it's some so it. strong. Because <laughs> you got talked into parting with so much money for it. Yeah, maybe because it's expensive, I'm wanting it to be... But it's no, delicious no, anyway, no, no. isn't it? It's stunning, right? It's stunning. But... And the good thing, I suppose, you, you'd have to drink that decently big bottle. You would never be smashing that in. I'm going to smash it in. Anyway, 
So it's a lovely taste. It's a lovely taste. It's a lovely nine. Nine, nine is fu and flat you're not nine. pissing about. Flat nine. Flat nine. I'll give it nine. Ladies and gentlemen, I think review. throughout the review. We're going to call 2016 the year of the review, and in the year of the review, I don't think JD has given higher than a nine. Correct me I, if I'm wrong. No, because I you don't want to say that that's my that's my favourite beer because it's not, not though, by a long way. The ones that we've had when we've been out, this isn't it, is it? But it's good, though, isn't it? And all I got, I got talked into a nine because I can see mountains while I'm drinking. Exactly. You could be having a can of Fosters right now, and it would be a nine. <laughs> <laughs> so this is. I think what we've really learned in the last beer review ever is that beer reviews don't really mind matter, do they? They don't matter. It's about where you are and what you're doing while you're drinking that beer. That's We're very profound. That's, that's it. And that's the best way to end on the beer reviews. Doesn't matter. Cut. Cut. Don't think for one second that we haven't... Uh, that the perfect campsite doesn't have its own swing. It does. Someone's painted it all like red, yellow and green, same as on my axe. And it's got a a quote on the bottom by Yates. By Yates. And it makes me look like a dwarf. Well <laughs> 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 so surreal. <laughs> So surreal, that. Is this surreal? This is surreally good. <laughs> it's hard to get it going. Do you think I stand on it? No, it's really right, get hard. on here. Really hard to get going. Right, let me push you on it. No, no, Sat you down. get on here and with both of us, we'll do it. Come. Right, we need to level it up a bit. <laughs> Go on, it's gonna be a slur. Go on. Go. <laughs> That's it. Look at us go. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do Come it. on, come funny. on, you can, you can. <laughs> it's gonna take a while. No, now you do it. You're doing it. You're doing it too early. That's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me go! <laughs> Look at us go! Ah. Oh, Why can, funny. can we get us both funny. swinging on it? It's too funny. Uh, <laughs> get in the middle, get in the middle. That's no, 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 just not working at all. Oh, it's so funny. Right. Hang on. Here we go! Fuck you down. Woo! I'll tell you what, it feels good. Yeah, it doesn't it? Feels good to be a little tiny dwarf on a massive swing. You <laughs> <laughs> won. This is science, mate. Oh. Ready? Right. Ready. Three, two, one. Science. In the battle of Joe versus science, that is the, science wins. That is the greatest <laughs> ride like I've I've ever been on. <laughs> Alton Towers, that, that is the oh, shit. Out. Alton Towers, man, that was so good. You were like gaining without. That was so fast, man. I was like, gaining without fast. <laughs> ah, that was amazing. That was good, man. Look at the size of these bad boys. Total thunder monkeys, look at them. And then we'll, we'll deck all this out with waterproofs and wool blankets and whatever. It's got a backrest. We can get the grill on and if, it's, if, it, if it tanks it down we can still cook our food.
put them in the embers and when they open up for a little bit they're cooked. For supper we have uh, ribeye steak, roasted pepper and courgette. What have we learned on this trip? What it does, or what it has done, is reminded me that Mother Nature is the boss. Even though you think you're the boss, you're not. Our lass, Mother Nature, is the boss. And you need to come to rugged places like this to make you... to re reaffirm that. Ah, oh, makes you just, it humbles me, that's it. Epic. That's another word for it. Epic. Look at the vistas. Ah. Well done, Scotland. Ah. Perfect. Adios. <laughs>